Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Xavier, and in today's video, I'm actually going to respond to a question that I got recently on one of my other videos. And so let me bring up the comment here just so you can see it. So this came from Alejandro, and you asked, side question, how did you get the Pomodoro log on each card? Did you copy and paste? or did it import from an app? So I'm gonna answer that question today. And in short, I do use an application with my Trello board. And so that application is called the Pomelo app. I'm gonna walk you through basically how to sign up for an account and how to download the application. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So this is the Pomelo for Windows application. And here's the website here, it's pomeloapp.com forward slash download, forward slash windows. Now this actually works in conjunction with what's called Trello board. And if you haven't seen Trello, it's basically a little productivity work board. I use it in a lot of my videos. You'll see me adding stuff to it or removing things from it. And so when, when I was asked about this particular app, it's probably in reference to this here. So let me see if I can show you what I have on my screen here. So, this is like a zoomed in version of one of the cards on Trello. So if you can see here, we have Trello in the background. So if I open this up, you can see when I completed this, if I have a description of what I was trying to get accomplished, and then you can see all the different tomatoes here. <laughs> what the Pomelo app does is it integrates with this Trello board and it basically creates these logs of how much time you focused on each of these things. So for example, my split is a 50-10, so I do 50 minutes of work and a 10 minute break. And so therefore, each of these Pomodoros kind of represents 50 minutes. And at the end of it, you can see a full log of how much time you spent working on a particular task or card. And if you haven't done so already, you can just create a free account. So you just click on Get Trello for free. You can sign up for it, really simple, and once you do, you can customize your Trello board, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna show you how to integrate your Trello board with a Pomelo in just a second. Okay, and just to let you know, the Pomelo app, it works on Windows and Linux and Mac. So you can install on any device really that you may have. I'm gonna download the application and let that run. I'll click save. So this is the main website here. And if you didn't have an account, you just go to login and then you would just click sign up and go ahead and create your account. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and run the install and I'm gonna show you what the application looks like after it's installed. And all you have to do is just click on open and it'll run the app and we'll be right back. So right now it's telling me that I need to sign in or connect to Trello. So. We're gonna go through that process right now. I'm going to go ahead and sign into the app first. So let's click on sign in. It's gonna ask you to log into Trello first. And the way you're gonna do that, you're just gonna click on this here. You're gonna sign into your Trello account. And then once you sign in, you're gonna get a token. It's gonna to be a really long list of characters that you're gonna to use to, to sign in with. It'll route you to the login screen for Trello. And then once you've logged in, it's gonna give you a key to authorize who you are. Copy the entire key, paste it, and make sure there's not a space after the last character, and then click Submit. Okay, so I clicked on the link. It brings me here. So we're gonna click on Login. And this is where you're gonna sign in to your Trello board. All right, so once you've signed up or signed in, this is my account here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow. Okay, so this is the token I was talking about. You can just double click into here. Make sure you copy it all, right click and copy it. Okay, so now that you have your code, we're gonna go ahead and paste it into here. So I'm just gonna paste mine. And once you have that, you're gonna click submit. And it'll say, hey, success, everything's set up. And then it should redirect you shortly. All right, so I signed into my Trello workspace and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a board. You can see the full board, but here's information. So we have like a brainstorm one, you have a to-do list, doing and done. 
So I'm just gonna click on create board from template and I'm just gonna call it demo board since I'm giving a demonstration. And it said this board will be private. I'm gonna keep cars, keep templates. I wanna keep everything the same and just create. And you can see all my information. So I'm just gonna add a quick card. We're gonna call this brainstorm one. Add that card, brain to do, oops, one. And I'm gonna call this doing something. Okay, again, this is more about the integration of Pomelo, but basically we're gonna go back into the Pomelo app and then integrate this board with that application. So actually I forgot to sign in. So let me try this again. We integrated them, but let me try this one more time. So I'm gonna log in to Pomelo first. And go ahead and log in. So this is the token, I'm gonna to copy it. And then I'm gonna paste it into the application here. So we're just gonna paste it in, click submit. And then it should redirect us in just a second. All right, so as you can see, I'm signed into the Pomelo app and you can see I'm logged in with my account and this is all the back end. So I can see how my productivity has been for you know, a certain period of time. I can get the premium account. I can create shortcuts, all kind of cool stuff. But let's go ahead and see if we can integrate a board and list. So I'm gonna click on boards and lists and let's see if it brings up information for my current Trello account. I might need to sign in again, but we'll see. So it didn't fetch my Trello account, so I'm gonna just click on connect here. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and log into Trello again. So you should get a pop-up like this. We're gonna click on Trello. Uh, now it's trying to match my account and I'm gonna click allow. Here's a new code. And then we're gonna go back to the Pomelo app. We're gonna paste that code or that token here. So we're gonna click on submit and boom, here are my lists and here are my boards. So I'm gonna close this out. And now as you can see, I can pick anything from my existing list. So we have brainstorm, to do, doing, done. Now I've never really used emojis, but that's pretty cool. It brings in the emojis as well. So now I can work off of any one of these boards. So let's just say I click on demo board and then I have one card here. So you see brainstorm one, brainstorm one. I'm gonna select that. And I don't know if I set a timer, but if I didn't, we're just gonna click on do it. And now it's gonna run. So we're gonna let this go for a few minutes. I'll come back and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back end in Trello. Okay, so our timer is still going, but essentially I kind of logged what I did by basically selecting the app or selecting the card. And then once I finish what I was working on, it let me choose a different one. So if I go back to brainstorm, I can pick a task and add that to it. And once I'm finished, I can just click that I'm done and it creates a note for me here. All right, so you can see basically how long you'd spent on something. And then it shows basically how long it took me based on the overall amount of time that I had set to do the task. All right, so there you have it. That's the process in a nutshell. Hopefully that answered your question, Alejandro. And again, thank you for the support. Thank you for helping me come up with this. I learned this a long time ago from another YouTuber named Josh Fluke. So thank you, Josh, for the inspiration to do this. And I gotta say that this tool is definitely coming in handy and it keeps you honest about what you're doing with your time. So that's it, stay productive. If you like, from more tips and tricks, you know, definitely hit me up in the comments below. I try to stay very active in terms of answering questions. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, keep working on what it is you need to work on. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.